Hi, welcome back to the Copper Gnosis channel. This is uh, your girl Copper Gnosis. Candace too, huh? All right. <laughs> anyway, uh, today I'm in a new a new video. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of a different one. Um, okay, it's about homosexuals and lesbians, I guess. I guess it's about gay people. Okay, so... <laughs> I I don't feel like homosexuals and, and, and lesbians are quite the same thing. So it's kind of funny that they just kind of put everything under gay. Because I don't feel like it's the same thing. And I was wondering why, you know. I was like, why don't I feel like it's the same? Why do I feel like lesbians are more, like, acceptable in my mind. You know, in my mind. Than, like gay males like why like the activities that are taking place or whatever so like how they act and and what's taking place in the various communities or whatever you know so uh okay so i moved to a place in the middle of nowhere it's snowing right now so i have my scarf on my hat well i decided to move you know somewhere totally unusual and, uh, turns out where I moved, I kind of just found the place on Craigslist. And I thought, cool, it said it was some kind of farm. And I'm like, yeah, cool, that sounds so cool. Like, I want to just go there in the middle of nowhere and be there. And so, when I, before I came, um, I, I didn't really know the person. I met him on Craigslist, like, like I said. And he said, oh, I'm gay, you know, and I said, oh, I'm, I'm. I'm black or you know I, I told him I'm like an Indian I'm Native American he told me he was too but he's very white looking so whatever you know how that goes that how are white people more accepted as Native Americans than us anyway it's very strange but anyway so there's four gay guys on the property when I moved here there was a, a couple of straight guys but they weren't really permanently as much as the other four so you know one of them left after a couple of weeks and the other one left after like a couple of months and I've been here a little while oh you know over a year so I was here with the four gay guys right I live in an RV and uh, two of them live in an RV and then two of them live there's a house and they're not all couples one of them was kind of a couple well they I they're a couple and they live together. But, uh, so as I got here, I found out, um, you know, they told, they set me straight on a few things. Uh, you know, gay guys, um, oh, if we get married, it doesn't matter. We still go out and, uh, have sex with other people. It's a known thing. That's what they said. And I'm like, oh, oh I didn't. know that was a known thing, right? And then I talked to a friend of mine who's had a lot of guys who ended up kind of gayish or whatever like that were like with her and then she said yeah don't you know that all the yeah everybody knows that you know gay guys may get married but it's just for the financial reasons it's not for, i mean you know or whatever you know i don't know what it's for but this guy seemed to think like everybody well a lot of gay guys i don't know everybody so I'm just talking about the four people that lived here because none of them objected to what I, what was being said. And so I can only go up based of who I know and what they said. So this guy said, uh, yeah, gay guys, you know, this, guy, this, this one guy was married and he showed me a picture of this married guy. And it was a naked guy, real buffed out, good looking guy, but he was naked. Now, I mean, I've had sex with people, I'm not a total prude, whatever, but when he showed me the picture, it kind of offended me, because I'm trying to move out of that, I haven't, you know, okay, I'm, I haven't had sex for a little while, not too long, but I mean, I was married for 20, yeah, I mean, I was married for 12 years, I mean, I'm not a young kid, and I mean, I had sex when I was 15, you know what I mean, so I mean, it's like, I know what, anyway, <laughs> so, yeah, so he shows me the picture, and I go, well, that's real nice, but and he's, it's, it's a married guy. He's like, yeah, when he comes to town, we're going to get it on. The thing is, the guy that's talking to me has AIDS. Okay? The guy that's telling me this has AIDS. He tell or HIV or whatever, you know what I mean? I don't know if he has, blah, 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 you know what I mean? So he's taking the medication. This is last year, okay? 
I mean, a few, you know, so maybe last October, like 2018. And I was like, well, and then I didn't want to ask too many questions. You know what I mean? Like, how is it you have AIDS, but this guy's going to come out of town and you're going to have sex with him? I mean, no, no, I don't care how many condoms you have on. I'm not, you know what I mean? I don't know. Anyway, it's not like, and if you're a couple that's in love and you're together and you have, you know what I mean? Like, that's one thing, but you're just like flying out of town and you're going to bone somebody. I, I was confused. And so, and then like, uh, then he turns out that he was like, oh, I got AIDS on purpose. Me and my other friend went and got AIDS on purpose. And so many people had AIDS. It would just seem like it'd be easier just to have it. I was like, what? What? What the fuck? I never even, what? Okay. So anyway. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I just got so blown away, you know, with the whole thing. And I'm like, you know, it just doesn't seem like. I don't know, and nobody seemed to object, and they all seemed to agree, and, you know, this one guy likes to call me a breeder, he's like, are you breeders, and I'm like, you know, they all seem half nuts, I'm a nut, you know, whatever, I'm crazy enough, you know, I mean, I'm not officially crazy, but I couldn't believe it, some of this stuff, like, I went over to one of their houses one day, and one of them was yelling, you know, I've never had a boyfriend, and none of these guys, I'm like, isn't this guy your boyfriend? Like, and then the guy that was supposed to be his boyfriend stormed out of the room. I don't want to hear this. You know, and, and he's just, oh, you know, I've never really had a boyfriend. But meanwhile, you got, it's his place. The other guy's just visiting. Pictures of gay guys on the wall. You know what I mean? He has a little uh, card of a gay guy, you know, just on his wall. Like, you know, and every time you turn on the TV, I have to really see all these gay, like, pictures that he has because it's a computer so all his gay you know and he flips through things it's always naked asses and you know what I mean the guy's 47 it's like you're a teenager you know what I mean like I, why do we have to have all these like I'm a straight woman but every time you turn on my tv you're not gonna see a bunch of asses of guys and all sorts of stuff it just seemed a little off and then you know he's complaining that this guy you know nobody's ever been really my boyfriend I'm like well who's who's this guy you know what's the astro glide for you know who's this person he's not your boyfriend he lives here with you and he seems to be getting upset that you're saying this so, I mean, they all seem a little con confused. The other guy lives in the house. They're all kind of narcissistic. I'm sorry, but they are, you know what I mean? And I was wondering, like, what's the deal? I, I know lesbian women, okay? Um, I don't know a whole bunch. I seem to know more gay guys. Like, I think there's more. Uh, the, 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 the lesbian woman I know, uh, you know, it's my son's friend's parents. Um, or the woman is my son's friend's mom. And I knew them since he, my son, my son's older now, you know, he's, you know, over, he's out of the teens now. And, uh, but I still know his friend. They have known them since they were in first grade since, you know, so a long time. And this lady is nothing like, you know what I mean? It's like, she doesn't say any of this stuff. Like she's had a couple of relationships. She had a relationship with a woman and I do think women tend to go back to men sometimes or whatever. So I don't know what happened with her first one. I, I The first one was pregnant and then they the chick had twins and they were together. And this woman was totally there for the twins and she loved them. And then this other lady left and, and then, they, you know, then they did. It was like, and I the twins really loved her. And so it was really frustrating because it was like, now they were gone. And, and I'm sure they're totally like going to be reflected their whole life because this other chick left, and then they she never gets to see him again. She never saw him again. They're gone. You know what I mean? And she raised him for, you know, like two years of their lives. The first two years. I and mean, they were close to her. You could tell how close. So, you know, this woman is not going out of town and having sex with other people and stuff. You see, as like the guys are like fine with that. The girls, I think they're more dedicated to being with each other, you know? So I was wondering what's going on. So, I was watching, uh, I love Seven Bomar, I don't know if you know him, but Seven Bomar is this cool guy, and he, he's very, uh, progressive, and he has a lot of information, and you should watch him, if you want, he's very interesting, uh, so he was talking, somebody asked him a question, do, what do you think about homosexuals, and he said, well, you know, I can answer that in two parts, 
Well, first part was I don't need to really know too much about him because that's not what I prefer in my life and I don't really need to know stuff. He's interested in metaphysical things and things like that and so he's like that's the stuff you can ask me about because I know more. He's like you might want to ask a gay person or somebody that's interested in gay people or the lifestyle or something like that because it makes more sense. He's like I wouldn't have the answers. And then set part two was and I have never really heard of this he was talking about, I don't know how this is going to go over, but there's a bunch of races of beings that are here that we don't even know about, or you know what I mean? Like, we don't even understand. We can look right at them and not even know they're from somewhere else. I, I'm just, just saying, that's supposed to be a fact. So he starts talking about this race of beings called, I think he said Zayrin or something like that. Anyway, he said that they're a group of beings that will kind of attach onto people that uh maybe in a in a bad place in their life maybe like lower you know so like if you live in a narcissistic family like i did i'd be if i was a guy a prime target for the zayron because i would have been beaten and defeated and sad and and willing to accept any kind of friends and family and attention because because i didn't feel like i got it from my my mother and stuff like that right so, so these Zayrin, I think they kind of like find people in situations that they can go in and attach themselves to guys. And it would be, the, he said, it's sort of considered a, a homosexual act. And it's just a race of beings that's all males. Like there's no female in their, in their situation. Like it's just all male. I don't know where they come from or what. I guess I got to read more about it. What is a book he said? It's, the book is called Alien Races and... Oh, what is he called? I don't know what he called it. But I wrote it down somewhere. Alien. It's, about, it's a book about aliens. Alien races, alien beings. I can't remember the name now. Anyway, it's some book that he said that they talk about this. And I'm like, that totally makes sense to me like i know it sounds weird but i mean i've been going for years and years going okay there's the gay pride parade there's this there's that the supposedly there's a whole race and like they can be you know like they have an interest on here on earth and obviously they also have an interest of getting guys to be part of this group or whatever and to me i was thinking totally because all these narcissists guys over here are these these gay guys over here that i live with i'm just talking about the ones that i live with these four guys but i'm sure come on i mean i know more but i got the, the idea from here um that that they uh, somehow the maybe a couple of them are these guys i don't know the one guy that owns a property is possibly one and i gotta get the fuck out of here but but that makes more sense to me like ah uh, Oh, there's no race of women. I was thinking of that today. I go, you know, even women having, you know, I mean, I know it's in the Bible too. Like, I don't know. They don't really talk about lesbians in the Bible, but I know they're talking about homosexuals. And I know the Bible is an end all be all of anything, but I mean, it just was, it makes more sense to me. Like, that they would, uh, they would attach onto people that were in, like, all the guys here that I know, one of them was a foster kid, the other one his mom left when he was really, they're all about my age, you know, I mean, I'm not, I'm over, I'm, you know, I'm like, whatever, I'm not in my 40s anymore, so I'm up there, and, um, you know, it just made more sense to me, because all of a sudden, one day, this guy thinks that he, this guy flipped out on me a couple months ago, it was November 10th. He freaks out on me. He like loses his mind. He's supposed to be a gay guy, right? After he, le after I call the cop, it's been hours. It was overnight, wasn't it? He kind of was like on the property, losing his mind inside the other trailer. So I was like, whatever, that's his boyfriend. And I've talked to this guy about, he's like, oh, this guy, you know, he's crazy. And I go, why do you want him to come back? Cause he was gone for a little while. And I go, well, why would you let him come back? Well, you know, everybody needs a chance. So I'm like, well, all of a sudden, he has this crazy gay guy come back. They're all gay. And then, all of a sudden, he starts freaking out about me. Like, 
he starts, like, I think he started obsessing about me. I don't know if I was right to mind him of his mother or if he decided he decided he's in love with me. I don't, it was very weird. And he's a white guy. They're all white guys. And I'm like, what? And so he was doing all kind of weird stuff. And like, he almost like put up this whole barrier, like parked his car so I couldn't drive my car off the property. I didn't know that he right, it was that. I was like, what's going on? I ended up having to call the cops and they took him away and whatever. But it was the weirdest thing. I was like, isn't he a gay guy? And then all of a sudden the other guy goes, oh, now he doesn't think he's gay anymore. And, or no, he thinks he's bisexual, which he never said before, ever, ever, never bisexual, never came up. They are so fanatical about I'm a breeder and they're this and that and they're this and that and I'm this, right? But even though we were kind of friendly, I mean, we used to hang out, even though I was like, oh, I don't know if I should hang out. I didn't really want to hang out with anybody. And now... Like, I definitely don't want to, you know, I was like, but now I think that was my lesson that I was like, okay, if you don't want to hang out with certain people, don't hang out with certain people. But it was sort of like, I knew I moved out here for a reason. And it turns out what he did to me triggered what my parents did to me in a narcissistic way. And so that's why I'm like turning this all like, I'm like, oh, oh my God, like you liked him. And so it's because you liked him. I had to pay for it. It's sort of like my dad loved his wife, and because he liked her, I had to pay the price, right? It was like, that, that's what it came down to. So anyway, gay, that's that, that's my opinion. Like, I, I do believe that there's more going on, and that's why they think they can go, gay, you know what I mean? Gay pride parade. You don't see a bunch of lesbians, like, with their boobs and doing all this stuff. You see a bunch of gay guys, and I, they're trying to promote it, and it's this race of people. It's just so insane, and that's all I have to say about it. I think it's a total trip and you know and I do believe I'm sure there's gay people that are but it just I don't I think there's more to it I'm sure there's gay people that love each other like lesbians love each other but I think I don't I don't know I don't know about it I don't know anyway that's all I have to say so oh, peace and wholeness from Copper Noses.